welcome to the Lightwave booth on Kiki Stockhammer, and we are streaming to you live from SIGGRAPH 2013 here at the trade show floor, and boy, do we have a lot of cool stuff coming your way today. Uh, for those of you that are sitting in front of me physically, please make sure you grab one of our uh, Lightwave uh, 3D magazines. Uh, we will also be giving away t-shirts, some amazing prizes. But of course, Lightwave 3D is our award-winning animation, modeling, and rendering software used in motion pictures, uh, television, commercials, the design industry, and of course, it's won mega, mega awards. Uh, here at SIGGRAPH, we are showcasing our brand new Lightwave 11.6, uh, free upgrade to Lightwave 11 users uh, on up. And of course, we have two brand new exciting products that we are launching here at SIGGRAPH. I can't believe it's the 40th year for SIGGRAPH of computer graphics. But of course, without further ado, I would like to bring up none other than Mr. Rob Powers, the president of the Lightwave 3D Group. Rob, get your butt up on Thank you, here. Kiki. <laughs> Welcome to SIGGRAPH, everybody. We're so happy to be here. Exactly. So uh, I couldn't help but noticing a nice Emmy. Are you just happy to see me? Absolutely, <laughs> Kiki. You know, Lightwave is an Emmy award-winning software, and it has allowed more studios and users to win Emmys than any other software. I would also like to shout out to Gary Hutzel and his gang that just got nominated for their work on Defiance and for Blood and Chrome. So yeah. thank, you know, congratulations to you guys, yes. and we're going to be voting for you. And watching your shows, because yes. they're awesome. <laughs> Absolutely. I love Defiance. So one of the things that uh, we want to talk about a little bit is just kind of establishing how Lightwave really stands apart from all of the other packages out there. Uh, one thing for sure is that, you know, it's made by artists for artists, number one. Absolutely. I think is really important. Absolutely. And we love the software. And you know, Lightwave is scalable. That's the thing I love about our software, is many times you have a pipeline where you rely on a lot of different things like external renderers and you know technical directors and maybe shader writers to make it work for you. The major pillars that you need to create your content, Lightwave has them all, from modeling all the way to rendering. So let's look at uh, uh, our scale video. Do we have that up? There we go. So Lightwave scales from studio pipelines to individuals. What this means is when you work at a studio, you have Lightwave as a tool. When you go home on your machine and you open Lightwave up, you have everything that you have when you're working at a studio at your fingertips as an artist. So you are always empowered with creative freedom using Lightwave. Yeah, that's awesome. I mean, so essentially you can do the whole nine yards from beginning to end. You can be working you know, on your own, doing your own creative projects, or working with the team. Absolutely. Doing so, all different kinds of projects. We've had so many great artists that have done their own uh, you know, shows, uh, essentially auteurs, if you will, people that have a vision, <laughs> and they've used Lightwave, like uh, Richard Manns that we showcased last year with Abiogenesis. We have a lot of artists who have done that, and they've used our software to think of a concept, think of a story, and share that with the world using Lightwave 3D. And bring it to reality. Well, let's get to it. we got to start talking about uh, Lightwave 11.6, oh, I think. Yes, We've got yes. a lot of people frothing at the mouth here. That's right. Dying to know what's happening. So <laughs> one of the good things to know is that we have Lightwave 11.6 released here at the show as a free upgrade to all Lightwave 11 and higher users. It brings things to you like spline control. Our users have been asking for spline IK for a long time. It does that for you, but also so much more. Allowing you to use splines interactively in layout to move objects through a motion path or deform things with splines. It really is a very cool addition to Lightwave and it comes to you free for all Lightwave 11 and higher users as a free upgrade. Um, you can see here there's an example of a escalator being controlled. Those steps are being controlled with the spline moving that uh, mechanical motion. So even if you're doing architectural visualization, this is a very cool tool. We also have raycast node. This allows your objects to cast rays in your scene and you see this piston moving. Those actual parts are just detecting, like the foot on this uh, rover is detecting the ground of that planet with it, the wheels are detecting. So, this allows your objects to cast rays to become aware of their environment and really do some awesome complex animation very quickly with very minimal setup. We're going to have some great demos on that later. The 3D printing uh, import export is awesome. We, we added STL, PLY, and VRML. We have a printed uh, bust in, in the uh, stage you can see here at the booth. Uh, VRML adds surfacing, so if you have surface color on your items, it will print that. There's a shot that we're showing of the actual printed model um, printed right from Lightwave 
uh, sent to a service and uh, the files were received. We've added also tools for cleanup for this type of export that are really cool. We have a new LightWave color picker. This is an awesome new addition. I think it is the most advanced color picker in any 3D application and essentially any software. It's a very cool addition which allows you to pick things from the color that you see our, our VPR, our interactive renderer with all the ray tracing right there in the window. You can pick colors from objects. You can also use it to pick colors from an image, for example. So uh, our, our great uh, uh, team members have done that. Ken Nine uh, was, was uh, working on this project. Many of you may know it from Jovian. This is now the built-in color picker for LightWave. And of course, Matt Gorner did the interface design on that, so thank you, Matt. Uh, we are very happy to uh, include the LightWave color picker through the product, and we think you're gonna enjoy using it because it really does make it much easier for artists to, to uh, work with colors in LightWave. In addition, we have added support for CG effects shaders from NVIDIA. Now, what this does for you, if you're doing virtual production or gaming work, or if you're showing your assets in real time, the CG effects shaders allow you to apply normal maps and really see a heightened uh, reality in real time in OpenGL. This is really a cool tool for virtual production asset creation, as we did on the shows I worked on Avatar Tinted, for example. This allows the CG effects shaders to transmit from LightWave through the pipeline to your final display, uh, whatever that may be. We've also added Alembic support, which is a universal file format that transfers data from packages, all packages essentially. LightWave has added that uh, to 11.6 as a free upgrade, again, to our users. We've added DPX support for those doing visual effects work for background plates, NVIDIA's 3D Vision Pro hardware support. We have stereo camera offsets. Python has been greatly simplified to streamline lines of code down to a simple operation. So Python is actually uh, a much more useful in this version of 11.6 for free. And you can find out more at lightwave3d.com. Yeah. Yeah. 11.6, man. That's absolutely. pretty rocking. Absolutely. Of course, you know, LightWave's award-winning renderer and the things we talked about with the polygonal modeler, the surfacing uh, that you have with LightWave, all the effects that come included, the uh, assets for dynamics are included with our bullet dynamics system, and, of course, the Emmy award-winning renderer that you see on all your favorite shows like Battlestar Galactica series, um, to Defiance and The Hunger Games. We had renders in that as well. We had Amazing Spider-Man last year. There are a lot of great work being done with LightWave Renderer directly uh, in the final asset, directly out of LightWave with no external renderer required. Amazing. Seriously, and one of the things that blows my mind is when you just look at all that creative artwork that we just saw, all these different images, and the range of, you know, from anime style all the way to super intense sci-fi style. It's pretty rockin'. So Absolutely. 11.6, you guys excited? Heck yeah. So uh, we obviously have to get into our one of our two new products that we're launching here at the show. Oh, yes. Uh, which one should we talk about first? I think we should go to Chronoscope first because right. I'm so excited about this. It is <laughs> such an awesome thing. You know, Chronoscope is, is really an awesome tool for all softwares. It includes a file format support for Autodesk uh, Geometry Cache, the LightWave MDD format, and of course, Alembic in this as well, uh, with support for OBJ and LightWave object uh, file support. You can see it is, you can take dynamic simulations from any of those packages, anything you can think of. Everyone working with dynamic simulations for cloth or rigid bodies knows that there are calculation errors all the time. You can use Chronoscope to quickly solve those problems and get that shot out the door without resimming very quickly. You can make changes and sculpts over time with this application. So this is a de deformation and sculpting program over time using cache files, which has been the standard for studios to transmit information through the pipeline. In addition, it has a non-destructive timeline, which adds morph clips and your cache clips so that you can build and layer all of this stuff, reimagine your, your cache files and add to that uh, interactively on your characters for effect or on your dynamic simulations for effect. And additionally, you can use this to generate endomorphs directly for LightWave to add variations to your facial at very high polygon count objects if you need to. And you can export OBJs directly for LightWave, I mean for Maya to use those as uh, blend shapes or to other applications. So you get that direct interaction with any package you're using to generate your blend shapes, your morph targets. You see here a great way to reuse a cloth simulation that was done on a different shaped object, a different shaped car, and in two seconds I was able to sculpt that and make that beautiful cloth sim work with a new Ferrari shaped car with no added simulation. 
This is showing you an object being deformed to make the bridge look like it's older and decrepit and show that you can use a global edit mode to do that so that your simulations are still applied. Of course, all the file formats there from any application. Uh, you can use Chronosculpt with those. And this is one of my best favorite features here, Kiki. You can use the paintbrush to select your parts of your item and apply geometry casts selectively just to those sections of the object. That's amazing. It allows you to reimagine uh, you know, dynamic simulations from any package that you've done and reuse those assets. You're seeing here you can control the curves to ease in and ease out. And then you just save those cache files out and you'll notice we have a new advanced geometry engine at, at the heart of Chronosculpt. We're pushing around 800 polygon objects, 800,000 polygon objects, 2 million polygon objects, sculpting, deforming on those, and here you see 10 million polys. That's insane. <laughs> yeah, and I would just add, that was done on a laptop with a mobile graphics card this was captured from. And it's not really a workstation, a super powerful workstation. Uh, so that's Chronosculpt, and I'm Chronosculpt. so excited How about that cool application. Is that? What's amazing about that uh, product is it really looks like, you know, you could either use it as a finishing tool, you could bring out a bunch of your old animations and completely redo them. Yeah, and you know, I want to share something. I worked on a, a project last year, uh, well, a couple of years ago, actually, the Race to Witch Mountain with the Rock. And I did a scene where a character was pushed through a, a glass window, and the director loved everything about the simulation except for one little glass they, piece. They never just like yeah. it as it is. They always have to change one little That's thing, right. don't they? One piece of glass <laughs> was rotating towards the camera wrong, and he said, you know, I love everything in the simulation but that one little piece of glass. Well, typically in the workflow for simulation, for dynamics, you have to go back and recalculate all of that, which would change everything he likes about the simulation, and then he would come back and go, I didn't want you to change everything I liked. I just wanted to fix the one, one thing, thing that I didn't like. Right. With Chronosculpt, you can load that from Maya, from Moto, from any application you can think of. Get those dynamic simulations in there, make that change, move that piece out, resave your cache file in two seconds, and the director's happy instead of going back to the drawing board right. and starting from scratch. This is a tool that would have saved me hours. hours. So yeah. I could be at the beach having a good time. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Totally. Yeah. Well, and the other important thing to note about Chronosculpt is the fact that it is a standalone product and it works with any 3D package out there. Absolutely. It sounds like it's a must-have for your 3D arsenal of goodies. And I just want to point out that right now we're releasing the Windows version on 64-bit and 32. We also have the Mac version to follow shortly and we have a Linux version plan. So this is going to be a very powerful application for any platform. Nice. Nice, and you guys can not only buy it here at the trade show floor, but also you viewers online, you can also go to lightwave3d.com to the online store and buy Chronoscope or our next product that we're gonna talk about, Never On Motion. Never On Motion, <clears throat> excuse me. And you can see there that we have limited time show specials. All of our products have a limited price special for the show. You can purchase those, as Kike mentioned, directly in the booth. Yes or online in our store, and you can get access to these pre-release versions right now. That means if you purchase it, you have it in your account, you can be using the versions we're showing you here. This is not a product that doesn't exist or that may come in the future. We have been using these ourselves and we're having so much fun with them. The final versions are gonna be shipping in Q4, but you get your hands on it and use it right now. Yeah. I would. People are going to say, would you get it, SIGGRAPH, this year? I got me some Chronoscope. <laughs> <laughs> Let's talk about Neveron Motion. Yes. So, Neveron Motion is a very cool addition to Lightwave 11.6. What this allows you to do is to take motion capture files from any motion capture facility, any format, and retarget those directly in Lightwave. You can apply that motion capture to your rigs very quickly. You know, Computers do something good. They, they do all the complex setup once, and you want to live and reuse that as many times as possible. You don't want to have to redo all of that. So that's what this uh, Neveron Motion allows you to do, is to set up your retargeting once, save your presets. But it also ships with great presets from our friends at Motion Analysis, Giant Studios, and also House of Moves. So if you work with those professional level uh, studios, these are the ones that do the motion capture on films like Avatar and right. Tintin, that kind of a thing. You know, that can come in directly if you're working with that, and you can retarget without using any external application directly on your characters in Lightwave. That's the cool thing about this. If you're working with motion capture, no longer do you need to go to external applications to retime or to do anything that you want. You can animate and layer on top of the animations. You can control your rig and, and change the deformations and retarget. Additionally, what this does is allow you to use the Microsoft Connect 
to import for those of you who have that system or want to purchase that camera, you have a way to capture performance captures from your body and your face directly into Lightwave in real time, save those as motion capture clips, and retarget those into your library on your characters. This is a very cool performance motion capture uh, application plug-in for Lightwave 11.6 and higher. It, you know, it really blows my mind for the fact that, you know, here you've got motion capture, which for years always seemed like s such a non-approachable thing, that you had to be a big studio to be able to do it, to be able to afford it, right. much less, right. right? And now you're just basically saying, it's like, oh yeah, you know, it's like, here, we're giving you Photoshop for motion capture. Here you go. Absolutely. You so can totally put this together, whether you're a novice <coughs> or a yeah. pro. Or whether you have access to the larger studios and that kind of budget. That's the beauty of Lightwave is it scales with you. So if you have an idea and you're some kid in, in school and you want to make it happen, the, the uh, Connect camera is the way for you to tell your story and to do it yourself. If you're working with larger studios at a professional level, like Giant Motion Analysis or House of Moves, we give you the tools to do that level of work. So that's what I love about Lightwave is this scalability. Because what you'll notice if you choose other tools, you're going to find that you're going to have to surround them with so many other tools to make it work right. for the key pillars of, of 3D production, which are modeling, texturing, yes. rigging, effects, and animation, and of course, rendering. Lightwave comes with all of those pillars right out of the box, and we have the show special for $12.95 at the show. The upgrades, if you haven't upgraded yet, we have a show special for a limited time for Lightwave for $4.95. We also have Chronosculpt, yeah. which will have a list price of $3.99, is at the show $2.99. Never on Motion will be $2.99 as a plug-in for Lightwave 11.6, and higher will be $1.99 at the show. And we also have our new cool Lightwave t-shirt this, this year, which looks awesome for sale as well. Absolutely, not only for sale, but we're actually going to be giving away. So after each demo today, we're also going to be doing giveaways. Uh, unfortunately, not yet online for you viewers. Mostly right here today for everybody sitting in front of us, but... Um, yeah, that's the new t-shirt. Everything else is for, is for you viewers. You can get that directly in the store right now. You get access and you play with it right now. We should also talk a little bit about our brand new SIGGRAPH edition of the Lightwave 3D magazine. This is awesome. Uh, on the cover, of course, it's the Jedi Knights of Defiance, the Lightwave group that worked on uh, making Defiance, which I think is one of the coolest shoes you know, yeah. sci-fi shows And that's shows Gary Hutzel and his group, and they also did, we're giving away Blu-ray DVD copies of Blood and Chrome. Blood and Chrome is so incredible. If you haven't seen it, I, I mean, haven't seen it yet. Both of that's the shows, why this yeah, one's mine. She's gonna take it. This one's but mine. We have more, don't worry, we're gonna be giving away more of those, but Kiki's gonna keep this one. You know, this is such a cool thing. It has 2,000 visual effects shots in a two-hour pilot. This has never been done in the history of television. Gary Hutzel and the gang did this, and if you haven't seen Blood and Chrome, you have got to watch the unrated, uncut, director's cut version that's available now on Blu-ray and DVD. This is so beautiful. It is the, the pinnacle of the Battlestar Galactica series and the height of television visual effects. You will not see anything better on TV. It's incredible. Well, we also want to remind everyone here, so all of you here today, make sure you go get your card scanned so that you can keep up with all of our announcements that we've got uh, from the Lightwave 3D group, as well as grab one of those magazines, maybe a t-shirt if you're lucky. Absolutely. <laughs> and um, of course, we also want to remind everybody that we are also going to be doing some incredible interviews of Lightwave users, you know, from a lot of the Defiance yeah. and uh, a lot of the different houses that we've been talking about. So make sure you check our show schedules so that you can tune in for those specific and you ones. Can, you can get to that show schedule right on our SIGGRAPH play page, which is on the www.lightwave3d.com. Yes. Just go there and you will see a direct link to all of this information. You can download a PDF version of our great magazine, which has all the background story, the scoop on a lot of these shows, a lot of great tutorials and interviews, and we put it together for all of you, our Lightwave users watching. Yeah, and we want to hear from you guys online too. Please tweet send us messages through Facebook. We want to hear from you as well. So, you know, I guess one of the first exciting things is we're going to be doing a chron chronoscope yes, demo, chronoscope. right? Yes. With the fantabulous Lino Grande. <laughs> Flew in all the way from Rome, just got married. Yes. Oh, <laughs> oh yeah, well, we have to announce it to it the world, It was a beautiful, we? beautiful wedding, by the way. <laughs> 
So I think I'm going to leave so you guys Kiki, to get to get it. Get out of here. Okay, I'm done. Everybody, Kiki Stockhammer. <laughs>